Hello there! You're watching At The Bench with Norgen Biotech. Today, we will be demonstrating the step-by-step -step workflow for the Total RNA Purification Kit, catalog number 17200. This kit offers purification of RNA from a wide variety of sample types, including cells growing in suspension and lifted cells, animal tissues, blood, and viral samples, which will be demonstrated in this procedure. This kit offers fast and easy processing using a rapid spin column format. It allows for purification from RNA down to microRNA, with no phenol or chloroform extractions required. Purification is very sensitive and linear down to a few cells or viral copies, without the need for carrier RNA. RNA purified using this kit is suitable for a variety of downstream applications, including NGS. Norgen also offers a CE IVD marked version of this kit for diagnostic workflows. Upon opening the kit you will find a detailed product insert, wash solution A, buffer RL, Illusion Solution A, mini spin columns packed with our proprietary RNA purification technology, collection tubes, and 1.7 milliliter illusion tubes. And you as the user will need to provide 96 to 100% ethanol and RNA's free microcentrifuge tubes for processing all acceptable sample types, 70% ethanol, mortar and pestle, and liquid nitrogen for processing animal tissue. First, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from cells growing in suspension and lifted cells. Transfer cell suspension to an RNA's free tube and centrifuge at no more than 425 G or 2000 RPM for 10 minutes to pellet cells. Carefully decant the supernatant. A few microliters of media may be left behind with the pellet in order to ensure that the pellet is not dislodged. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL to the pellet. Lyse cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Ensure that the entire pellet is completely dissolved before proceeding to the next step. Add 200 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the lysate. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Next, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from animal tissues. Excise the tissue sample from the animal. Determine the amount of tissue by weighing. We recommend starting with an input of no more than 10 milligrams. Transfer the tissue into a mortar that contains an appropriate amount of liquid nitrogen to cover the sample. Grind the tissue thoroughly using a pestle. Allow the liquid nitrogen to evaporate without allowing the tissue to thaw. Add 600 microliters of buffer RL to the tissue sample and continue to grind until the sample has been homogenized. Homogenize by passing the lysate 5 to 10 times through a 25 gauge needle attached to a syringe. Using a pipette, transfer the lysate into an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Spin the lysate for two minutes to pellet any cell debris. Transfer the supernatant to another RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Note the volume of the supernatant or lysate. Add an equal volume of 70% ethanol to the lysate volume collected. Vortex to mix. Thirdly, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from blood. Transfer up to 100 microliters of non-coagulated blood into an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL to the blood. Lyse cells by vortexing for 30 seconds. Ensure that the mixture becomes a light red color before proceeding to the next step. Add 200 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the lysate. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Last but not least, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from viral suspension. Transfer up to 100 microliters of viral suspension to an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL. Lyse viral cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Ensure that mixture becomes transparent before proceeding to the next step. 
Add 200 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the lysate. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Now that the samples have been lysed, we will complete the purification of RNA from our sample types. Assemble a column with one of the provided collection tubes. Apply up to 600 microliters of lysate with the ethanol onto the column. And centrifuge for one minute at 20,800 G or 14,000 RPM. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Depending on your lysate volume, repeat until the desired volume is reached. Apply 400 microliters of wash solution A to the column and centrifuge for one minute. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Wash the column two more times with 400 microliters of wash solution A and centrifuging for one minute for a total of three washes. Spin the column empty for two minutes in order to thoroughly dry the resin. Discard the collection tube. Place the column after being dried into a fresh 1.7 milliliter elution tube provided with the kit. Add 50 microliters of elution solution A to the column. We do not recommend eluting the RNA in a lower elution volume. Centrifuge for two minutes at 425 G or 2000 RPM, followed by one minute at 20,800 G or 14,000 RPM. The purified RNA is now ready to be used or stored at negative 70 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. RNA purified using this kit can be used in the following downstream applications. Next generation sequencing, RTQ-PCR, viral detection, microarrays, northern blotting, and more. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.